Well, hi, this is Jacqueline with Nickel and Dime Decor. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm sitting here at my dining room table today because I want to show you my log cabin Christmas quilt that I'm putting on my table. And I will uh, take the camera down in a minute and show you up close and personal. But I wanted to tell you about, <clears throat> first of all, I think I would have preferred a little bit lighter of a binding, but you know, if you watch my videos, it's what I have. And this is what I had left. So I had enough of it for my binding, so that's what I used. Now I wanna tell you a little bit about the quilting. <clears throat> I'm not a long armor and I've never done it. And um, it's always been beyond me. <clears throat> but I've never had the money to invest in one. Well, our downtown uh, Amarillo Downtown Library has a craft room. And they have sewing machines, embroidery machines, everything you can think of, any kind of craft, any kind of sewing, anything. And they offer long arm quilting for you to come and uh, check it out for four hour segments. Do you know what a blessing that is? That's the biggest gift. And, uh, oh, I just noticed my hair. I just came in from going to church and I'm still cold and so I kept my jacket on and my hair's a mess, but oh well, back to the point. So the library uh, told me that the ladies there said, you need to practice three or four, five times to get the hang of it. They will help you load it. And um, there's, oh, they were just so helpful. They did, they did it all practically for me. Well, I practiced and I, uh, I couldn't come up with anything but the scribbles. I tried to do straight line and that didn't work. And I, whatever I tried just really didn't work. So I thought, well, this is gonna have to be it. Well, that lady encouraged me. I tried to go by, look at a pattern and I had it in my mind. And finally I give that up. First I started with paper. Have you ever seen where you put the paper on with the pattern? and then you tear it away. It took her and I 30 minutes to tear that paper away. So I said the heck with it. I'm just gonna wing it. And so I went ahead and did it after only practicing one time. And <clears throat> I was relatively pleased. I really was. I mean, <clears throat> you heard about the 20 foot rule. If it looks good from 20 feet away, you're okay. Well, that's the way I think of it as this uh, quilt. Who's gonna get down and examine, you know, and who's gonna know the difference but me? I know what I did wrong and I did plenty things wrong. Um, but I, overall, like I said, I'm just very well pleased. And I, I'm doing the Sunbonnet Sue for a customer uh, quilt and I'm gonna take it back to do the long arming, but on it, I'm just gonna go a wiggly line down the sashing. And where the Sunbonnet Sue is, I'm just gonna outline Sunbonnet Sue. And that's all I'm gonna do because the fabric is so old and I don't wanna, I just don't wanna do a whole lot with it. So I'm looking forward to being able to utilize such a wonderful, wonderful thing that they're doing. And uh, they don't, uh, it's not utilized as much as it should. Um, but there again, some women have really gotten the use out of it. So, okay, I'm gonna turn the camera off and then I'm going to uh, come and let you look closer. Now the back side is just my solid red and I had to put some piecing on it because I didn't quite have enough. 
and I should have used a, a white thread, but then there it wouldn't have showed, it would have showed up on here because what I did is I put my binding on backwards. And <clears throat> now that I've done it twice, I think I'm gonna do it from now on on the machine, just have the right color of thread the next time in my bobbin. But I used a green thread in the bobbin and against the red, it looks okay. But uh, against the white, it doesn't look too good. But, you know, regardless of what I would have used, it would have been wrong in one area. So, it, it doesn't. But I put it on with a decorative stitch. In fact, it's a buttonhole stitch. Uh, and it just barely catches right there. Um, but it, on the top side, it's just a beautiful stitch. And it looks really, really nice. So though, that's what I did. <clears throat> I think, you know, when you get to the point where, oh gosh, I just want to get finished because I just wanted it finished to put it on my table right after Thanksgiving. It doesn't fit my table real good. It's a little small, but it's okay. I'm the only one here and very few people will see it. So it's okay. You know, as long as I'm happy, that's all that matters with it. And I, I'm i very happy with this quilt. I love the log cabin. It's a half log cabin and I love, love the pattern. I'd like to make some more. All right, I'm gonna turn this off and then I'll uh, come back and we'll have a close up view, okay? Be right back. Well, this is the best view, and uh, this is the way the pattern shows up, I think, the best. But um, here I go. I'm going to go down closer and closer and closer so that you can see my stitching. Now, don't judge me. It's the best I could do for my first time. But... You know, I thought maybe log cabins, you should have straight lines, but this is what I had to do. So um, it is what it is. Some of them are big loops and some of them are small, but overall, I love, love, love the effect of it. I just, Move my, um, just a second, I'm gonna move my stand out of the way. There, you can see it. I, I'm, from any angle that I walk around, I think it just looks pretty, pretty darn good. And like I say, I'm just very happy with it. I, I hope you might have a service like that that our library provides. It's invaluable. And, and you know, I'm, I'm going to get my money's worth out of it. I mean, just, you can never pay a long arm machine off, not at my age. So I will use that little machine down there. You can certainly believe it. So there's my log cabin. And I hope you made one. I really hope you did. I hope you'll go back. I think there's three parts to it. And I hope you'll go back and look at them and make it. And thank you so much for watching my videos. And uh, I am on November the 11th, 2022. I reached uh, 50,000 views on my YouTube channel, and I, that is such an honor, and it's all I owe to you. So thank you, and God bless.